blockbuster record-breaking night at theaters here and across the country as Avengers Endgame quite literally took over theaters. Thanks for joining us tonight and staying up with us tonight. I'm Brad Bird. And I'm Shelley Kirk. Fourteen of the screens at Showplace Cinema East showed 22 screenings of the movie tonight. Eyewitness News' Amanda Mueller was at the theaters speaking with fans about how they prepared for this final chapter. Opening night is all about the super fans as Avengers Endgame smashes records in theaters across the nation and right here in the tri state. And while it's tradition to supersize that soft drink and load up on all the popcorn, some fans are skipping that altogether for a very clever reason. How long have you been looking forward to this movie? For like five months. The wait is over for Avengers fans, and Endgame is here really emotional journey for me, honestly, in going to this movie. I mean, it's the culmination of the last 22 films. People repping their favorite Marvel character, including Hulk, Groot, Black Panther, Thor, and others. And if they simply couldn't decide... Who are you dressed up like today? Spider-Man and half Thanos. Why not nice. do both? Uh, I think everybody's real excited, and you can tell by the, the ticket sales. Ticket sales, Hulk smashed records here and across the country, with tickets at Showplace Cinemas outselling Star Wars by three times the amount. First, we had to prepare the crew. We had to hire more people. I mean, we're used to having crowds. We're just not used to having crowds on Thursday nights like this. Opening night is basically the Olympics for Extreme Avengers fans. There's strategizing. I plan to not get a soda at all, and I plan to just go to the bathroom right before and just stay in there. There is also training. I actually watched some other three-hour movies in preparation for this. I watched Titanic just to prepare for this. And, yeah, I think I, I think I got it in the bag. But it's emotion that many fans have struggled with the most leading up to this movie. I know that it is their time to, for some of them to go and some of them to stay. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. Reporting from Evansville, Amanda Mueller, Eyewitness News.